Creaky faucet, creaky floor. Hi guys, it's Abby from Twist Me Pretty. Today we are doing the five workout hairstyles. I know you're gonna love it. Yeah, 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 you are gonna love it. <laughs> and here I am being a total dork. <laughs> um, you still love me, right? Okay, make sure you subscribe below if you love me and my channel and let's get started. You're going to take a section from the front and just do a regular three strand braid and make sure that you're angling it back and then secure it with a duckbill clip. Do the same thing on the other side. It's just your basic three strand braid, so I'm kind of fast forwarding through all of this because we have five hairstyles to get through. And once you finish braiding, go ahead and loosen those braids, secure it with a clear elastic, and then just pull the rest up into a ponytail. So this is the braided ponytail, one of my favorite hairstyles, not to just work out in, but it's cute for anything. So here is the braided ponytail. And then I have to show you the coolest tool, you guys. I've been using it for a couple months. And I'm finally ready to share it. It's called a cutter comb, and it basically has this little sharp edge right there, and you just snip the elastic out, and it's like so super easy. I've written about it on my blog, and I'm actually selling it on my website. So pretty cool. I think that you guys all need one because they're awesome. So if you're interested, go to my site, check it out. You can find them there. And then we're ready for style number two, the simple jasmine ponytail. And I also like this style if you just put your hair back in a ponytail and then do just the tail with these little, you know, bubbly elastics. So I think that's really cute too. But I chose to keep this style tight against my head so that the ponytail doesn't whip me around while I'm doing my yoga. Just kidding. I don't do yoga. <laughs> all right. Here is the jasmine ponytail in all its glory. And then, of course, I am snipping these little elastics out with no hassle at all with my cutter comb, which you can get on my website. If you guys can't tell, I'm really excited about this. All right, style number three, French braided messy bun. I'm going to assume you guys know how to French braid. If you don't know how to French braid, I will be going over all of the basic braids next week, so stay tuned. Also, I'm sure you guys are wondering how I still have long hair. Um, don't worry, I cut it. I just have a couple videos in reserve because we've been on vacation a lot, so I'm gonna use some of those up, but we'll get to the short hairstyle soon. So anyway, you're just gonna French braid down to the nape of your neck, pull it all over into a side messy bun, and I don't wanna use bobby pins when I'm at the gym because sometimes bobby pins fall out, so I'm just gonna grab the messy bun and kinda retuck it into that thick elastic, and that's gonna make the messy bun cute, and it's also gonna help avoid any of those bobby pins sliding out while you're exercising. So this is the braided messy bun, one of my very first hairstyles I ever did nearly three years ago. It's a good one. All right, style number four, the braided pickies. I never would have thought to do braided pigtails on an adult, but the other day I was watching The Big Bang Theory and Penny totally was wearing them and they thought they looked so cute. So I wore these to the gym a couple days ago and I will admit at first I felt kind of like a little girl, but they totally grew on me. So you should check out uh, the braided piggies because you never know, you might need to be just in the right mood. But anyway, you're gonna secure one side, secure to the base and then go ahead and braid it, just a regular three strand braid. And then you'll just wrap the braid without tying that very end part off. You're just gonna wrap it around the base of that uh, elastic, kind of spread apart the braid if you can, and then secure with another clear elastic. So this is the braided piggies. I hope you guys like this one. Kind of fun, kind of different for an adult. Uh, but then I'm just going to show you how I quickly and easily remove those stinking clear elastics with my cutter comb. <laughs> oh yes, and if you're not a fan of the braids, you can go ahead and throw those into two messy buns. I've done that before and it's really cute. Style number five, the boxer braids. This is a really fun style. This one probably takes the longest time because you're French braiding all your hair, but it definitely keeps your hair back and away from your face. This would be a really great style to wear, like if you're doing a race or you're doing some family fun event um, that's like outdoors or maybe if you're swimming or something. But you're basically just gonna divide the hair into two, French braid both sides down to the nape of your neck, Remove that duckbill clip and then combine those two braids so that now you're just braiding one single braid. So you're going to split it into three equal sections. It just so turned out 
that the left side were my two sections and the right side was my third. So that just is how, how it felt equal to me. So anyway, just however it's equal, divide that into three sections. So you're just combining those two braids into one. And then go ahead and do a three-strand braid all the way down. And I've also done like a messy bun at the bottom or even just securing it into a ponytail is really cute as well. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. These tutorials, I guess, there are five. So we were kind of speeding through them to get them all finished. Um, not something that I usually do, so I hope you guys kind of liked the change of pace. There were five styles. Make sure you subscribe below, and we'll see you next week. Bye! Come on in. How many feel? Four. Four blondes, you want to come on in? How many feel? Here, let me hold your blanket while you... Come on in. Go! Hang on, boss. Fall off. There you go. Here we go! <laughs> Whoa!